Hey, it's Teapock, and I'm playing To the Moon. Um, I've never played this game. Uh, besides, like, my testing of it. Just, like, to see if I can get all the, uh, recordings in order. But, um, yeah. All I know is this is a very emotional game. And I heard about it a year ago. I just never bought it until uh, the past Steam sale. But uh, yeah, I've always wanted to play it, so I just figured why not record it. And yeah, let's jump into this. Begin. Someone got in a car accident. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Huh, well, let's just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever for Bali fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Received equipment. Okay. Got the sucker. Let's roll. What's that say? Patient offline. Okay. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Wow. How thoughtful of you. Bird. Wait, who am I playing as now? I thought, okay. I'm Rosaline, right? Wasn't that her name? Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, let's just push it. It's not that big. And I don't know why you really need to move it. <laughs> Alright, on three. One, two, three. Okay. I... I don't even... What was that? <laughs> Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll... we'll figure that thing out later. Right. That was weird. <laughs> it bounced away. Squirrels. We killed your friend. Go over that way. 
Knock, knock. Ma, they're here. Hello. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them, love them, or hate them. Do you know the answer, you stupid owl? It's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering they won't. And your eyelids will. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. I think you do if you can afford a better place than this. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Okay. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I just moved my microphone somehow. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny. Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue, sue you with the insurance claim. Pick it up, received equipment, and... Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Head up the stairs. Yeah, go. Go upstairs, yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. I've l I bought the uh, soundtrack as well. Just gotta say, their version is better than Johnny's. In my opinion. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Do I control? Talk to doctor. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay. Ready to set up? Uh, yeah. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. 
Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. That's fancy. I want that briefcase now. Or whatever it was. Toolbox. <laughs> How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep getting crazier, huh? So can you do it? It, it depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That? I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Ooh. Gotta say, I, I like uh, Dr. Rosaline more, so I'm gonna pick her. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right. Do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let's inspect this room. That book looked different. Or not. Okay. <laughs> I lied. Oh, oh, I can examine a painting. I could I don't want to talk to him at the moment. Painting of a lighthouse. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Very specific. A painting of an animal of some sort, also specific. A casual painting of three people. What animal is that? It looks like Cubone, the Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's... Oh. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Okay. Here, take this. Received from outpatient... Oh, that was that. Okay. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. <laughs> oh, did lights go on? Oh, no it didn't. I wasn't going to ask for it. I forgot completely. Hello. I want to talk to you. What you want? A uh, show around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. I'll put it there to save her when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you our tour through a house. What do you say? Well, 
Uh, sure. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves, too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. There. Oh, I don't see it. That's a fire. Oh, this. There's that candy cane. Okay. Oh. That I was actually. Okay. Received candy cane. Get the spoons. Terrible calories. Can I put it back? Okay, apparently not. I need anything else. What's that? Oh. Turn it off. <laughs> For some reason, it's not talking when I want it to. Okay, I got what you want, a good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour of at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Okay, where do we start? I know there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it in his, inside a book in the study. I would assume this is the study, then? This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. This, this shelf? Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. And the colors, the colors that... The colors of that beautiful fabric. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointment at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which, had, which has been heard by bystanders, was repeated over and over. Yep. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Let's read a passage. Ah, uh, maybe another year. Received room key. He chose its hiding spot well. Yeah, I would say so. Re guys ready to go? Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> ah, that's mean. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Well, let's go to the funny room. Oh, that's a room. Didn't even see that. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek in here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Ah, that light. Treasure chest. Oh. this what is that another chest that's locked box is filled with colored papers okay the cabinet is filled with dusty books what about this one the cabinet is filled with unused fine china oh that's the room actually let's look at the bookshelf first I think that's it. Dusty pile of animorph books sits here. Sit here. Never really got into those. Door's locked. Open the door with the room key. Animorphs, I had like a hundred of them. Never read them. 
It's like a cave in here. Ooh. Okay. 